I feel like a little kid with my hair like this, but we have things to talk about. I sound a little under the weather. It is a head cold. Um, I went a little bit too hard in week one of the new year. It's fine, everything's fine. <sighs> Can we, you know why you're here and I know why you're here. So can we just accept the fact that one thing a cloth and paper customer, member of the cloth and paper trail, one thing that we are gonna do is keep a box, okay? Because enough is enough. I, I placed another order. Here, stop, just please. This is technically a Christmas gift, technically. So let's jump right in. Birds are chirping, they're excited for me. I hope you are too. And of course, and Ashley, Ashley, let us know now, is this staying or going? Because if this is going away soon, I need to start separating myself from it, the dust bag. So if we're gonna keep getting the dust bag, let me know. If we're not, just, just let me know. Because I kind of, I'm getting accustomed to it. And I don't want to get too attached. And then I have 17 of them. And then all of a sudden we have our tissue paper. Which I am okay with the tissue paper. So anyway, I got a couple of things. So let's jump right into it. Okay, a nice little stack. Can't really tell, but it's a cute little stack. Let's go in order. This is what the receipts are coming in, in this to keep kind of a folder, if you will. I don't know the proper term for this. This is more like a to keep envelope, a receipt envelope. Very luxe. What's inside other than my receipt? Okay, it's a little thick. Oh, these are the cards that I saw during happy hour, but I was working, I wasn't, I wasn't just on my phone. Anyway, uh, so here we have the first one. Then we have oh, planification. Love that for us. Okay. And then we have my receipt, which I am going to do better at looking at because I remember when I did the haul end of last year, I didn't look at my receipt and that's where the page flag uh, colors were. So just to confirm, I'm gonna have it out while I'm doing things. So now I have two of these, which is great. And I'm just gonna put these back in here for now until we figure out what we're going to use them for. I went ahead and got the sample sale six ring binder. Why? Because sale. And I feel like even though I love storing my things in the boxes, it's also a nice way to maybe branch out into another style of planner. So at first, and this is the 30 millimeter rings. So at first I was just going to use it for storage, which I thought was ideal. I see here that there is like a, can you see that? Can you see it? It says CPX. I'm not sure if that's part of the mix up. Is it collection? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I didn't look into that part, but I know that since this is a part of the sample sale, you have to keep in mind that the items might have nicks and bumps and bruises, a couple of blemishes on it, which to me was okay because I know that, I mean, I'm not using it for perfection. I'm using it to throw around and rough house. So that's why I was okay with getting the sample. And it also has an elastic here, fit in the grooves. Can you see that? To hold everything together. Maybe towards the end of this video, I'll show you how I'm gonna be using everything, but for now, I just want to go through what I got. So the sample item is not bad. Obviously not, because I think I got one of the last 30 millimeter rings. Next, let's go with the freebie. So I purchased a few items that landed me some freebies. I'm only seeing one thing. It should be more than one thing. Okay, three things. The Juniper Accessory Bundle. The Circle Sticky Notes. We also have the Page Flags. And we have the Square Flags. I'm trying to get into the Page Flag thing, but 
I've never really used them to know if I like them or not. Um, I just started with annotating my first read of the year that is not like a self-help book or whatever the case. So I'm going to find ways in my planner to put these to good use. Maybe it will help me um, get creative with my deco. So yes, this was my freebie. And since we're on the topic of squares and flags and things, I did end up getting the bundle, the color bundle Angora Gray. I believe it came like this. I got the essentials pouch, the small one, and then I got the Angora Circles. You can see that, can we? Maybe. And also square flags, page flags, just like Juniper. I also got the, which pen is this? The Uni Marky, Uni Marky, Uni Marky? The, the Uni Pin Marking Pen, good Lord. Okay, so here it is. I will test it out shortly. I'm okay with these because they remind me of uh, the markers that I used to use in my bullet journal. Uh, this is familiar to me. I'm okay with that. I also picked up two, not one, but two. And now I'm thinking about it. Did I need two? Of the uh, journaling ruler card slash things, which I have this. This is from an Amazon store. But you see where I was going with this? Do you see? Do you see? But uh, yeah, I ended up getting two of these. And... Would it be a cloth and paper order without sticky notes? Come on. Some memo sticky notes. I don't think it's that bad. I'm really excited about the pouch. Let's open it up. I want to use the clear pouch for my reading essentials because I feel like I am really serious about my reading goals for this year. And with that, that means that, you know, I'm going to be toting around my book quite often. And instead of me having all of these things all over the place, let me just have one place for all of my things. So for example, um, even though this is not from cloth and paper, but this is something that will be attached to something from cloth and paper, let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about. The book I'm currently reading, okay? So this is my bookmark. I got this. Never mind where I got it. We can talk about it if you want to know. But here is my bookmark. And let's say I'm starting a book, right? So I want to have my bookmark with me. So I know my place. My bookmark fits in there quite nicely. Um, if I'm annotating a book, then I want my page flags. You know? Um, I've noticed that quite a few people are, in fact, using their journaling cards to deco the situation. I'm just giving an example. And cloth and paper, I will say, is very thoughtful. They have products that can work with many of their items, not just, oh, we made this thing, let's hope that it works for whatever you bought from us however long ago it was. You just gave me this planification journaling card and it fits like a glove in the essential pouch. So it just, it just makes sense. So just a little privacy on one side and then, of course, you can still see everything on this side. You can fit a pen in here. Um, I think all of the things that I did get today can fit in here. Should we try that? Let's try that. Everything I got, can you fit in here? So we have the to keep. Will it fit? Will it? Uh-oh, oh my gosh, don't embarrass me though. Okay, well, you, you can't win them all. It's in there. It's in there. Angora. And we can fit Juniper. What do we want, a pen in here? Pen fits just fine. Maybe it can't go behind it. <gasps> it can. 
Okay, okay, great, even better. Rulers in here. We can fit these in here? Wow, this is really working out. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of stuff. Is that my whole order? Is it? This might be pushing it. This might be taking it too far. Okay. Suck it in, hold your breath. And keep in mind, this is all with the wrappers on. Like, are you okay? Everything outside of this, everything that was in my dust bag, why am I, why am I pulling this dust bag? This is not from this. Everything that was in this dust bag fits in here. So every single thing that I purchased outside of the six ring, it's in here so imagine you'll have so much more space when you take them out the wrapper so this is a very nice pouch to have and I'm gonna take it a step even further you see what I mean you see what I mean see my budget binder budget binder reading essentials the book I'm reading okay bookmark Dust bag for later. Another dust bag for later. For later. Look at this. I also use this as a camera bag, but that's not why we're here. I'm pleasantly surprised by my purchases. So hopefully in this roundup, hopefully I'm about to show you how these look outside of the package and in my planner. But I'm going to go make some tea. I hope that when you're seeing this, you are doing well. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you picked up any of these things. And if you haven't, what is on your wish list? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.